In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, some examples of multiplying polynomials together. And I've got four examples here. I'm really just trying to show uh, several different kinds of scenarios of multiplying different two binomials together, three binomials, or polynomials together. And the first one, we're multiplying this uh, binomial by this trinomial. Uh, basically, the idea, no matter how big or small they are, is to multiply every term in one by every term in the other. So I'm going to start with multiplying the 2x by the negative 5x squared, and that would be negative 10x cubed. Uh, 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, and x times x squared is x cubed. Uh, we add the exponents, there's actually a 1 here, and the 2 adds the 3. You can also think of there's 1x here and there's 2 here, so there should be 3 all together. So I've multiplied the 2x by the first term, now I'm going to multiply the 2x by the second term. So 2x times 4x would be 8x squared. Again, 2 times 4 is 8, x times x is x squared and 2x times negative 6 is negative 12x. Uh, next, we multiply the negative 3 by the negative 5x squared. So you have multiplied the 2x by all terms, and I'm going to do the 3 by all the terms here. And that would be minus 15x squared. 3 times 4x would be a 12x, and 3 times negative 6 would be minus 18. Now that's the expanding part. Now the simplifying part is to collect like terms. So for example, I've got an 8x squared here and a negative 15x squared. I don't want to write two terms the same kind because they're both x squared terms. I want to simplify it into one x squared term. Now there's only one x cubed term, so I'll leave the negative 10x cubed alone at the beginning. 8x squared minus 15x squared is minus 7x squared. So that's the x squared term. And these x terms are opposites. Negative 12x and positive 12x are opposites, so they add to 0. So there's no x term at all in the final answer. And then we just have the minus 18. So that's the simplified version of this product. In B, we've got three different binomials that we're multiplying here. And while it is possible to multiply three of them together at the same time, it can get fairly complicated and it's easy to miss term, miss products. So what I'd suggest is to multiply two of them together, get that simplified, and then multiply in the third one. So I'm going to leave the a minus 1 alone at the beginning here, and it really doesn't have to be the first term. I could, for example, leave the a minus 3 on the end and multiply the first two together first. It really wouldn't matter. It'll give you the same terms in the end, as long as all your algebra is correct. So uh, a times a would be a squared. So I'm multiplying these together. a times a is a squared. a times the negative 3 would be minus 3a. 2 times a would be a 2a. And 2 times negative 3 is minus 6. And you may have had... Uh, teachers previously show you an acronym for multiplying binomials called FOIL. So the A times A is the F. F stands for multiplying the first terms. The O is for multiplying the outer terms, the A by the negative 3. The I is for multiplying the inner terms, the 2 by the A. And the L in the N stands for multiplying the last two terms together. And so, and that really is just an acronym for remembering to multiply them all together, all the terms. Um, it does the same as multiplying all the terms in one by all the terms in another. So now what I want to do is simplify this, and then I'll expand in the a minus 1. So the only thing to simplify here is the negative 3a plus 2a uh, simplifies to negative 1a, or just negative a. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So now I want to, multiply, want to multiply the a into all these and the negative 1 into all of these. That's the expanding part. And then we'll collect like terms. So a times a squared would be a cubed. Uh, again, 1 and 2 add to 3. a times negative a would be minus a squared. And a times the negative 6 would be minus 6a. So I've multiplied the a by all these. Now I want to multiply the negative 1 into all the terms in the trinomial. And multiplying by negative 1 just changes the sign. So negative 1 times a would be minus a squared. Negative 1 times negative a is plus a. And negative 1 times negative 6 is plus 6. So really, these three terms just are the opposites of these because of multiplying by that negative 1. So that's the expanding done. Uh, so we have an a cubed at the beginning. That's the only a cubed term. A negative 1a squared and another negative 1a squared. Negative 1 and negative 1 add to negative 2. So that's a minus 2a squared. Negative 6a plus 1a, negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. So that simplifies to minus 5a, and then we have the 6 in the end. So that's the simplified uh, product of these three binomials. Now in C, uh, we have a, just a little bit more. Uh, you can see that each one's sort of getting a little bit bigger, a little bit different. So I have three things to multiply here, a monomial and two binomials. And then I have this binomial squared at the end, and, and then, of course, it's multiplied by this uh, 
2 uh, after the subtraction sign. So it's kind of like we've got a product separated by a, a, a minus sign with an, another product. So I really need to do all this expanding, all this expanding, and then I collect like terms. So I'm going to multiply the 3D into this binomial first. So 3D times 4 is 12D. 3D times minus D or negative D is minus 3D squared. Uh, again, D times D is D squared. And then I'm just going to write the rest on the end. That's all the multiplying I'm going to do in that step. Um, the 2D plus 3 squared means two different 2D plus 3s multiplied. So notice I've written that as two of them multiplied. So now let's start doing the multiplying. 12D times 2 is uh, 24D. 12D times 3D is 36D squared. And I multiply the 12D by each of these. Now I'm going to multiply the negative 3D squared by each of them. So negative 3D squared times 2 would be minus 6D squared. And negative 3D squared times 3D would be negative 9D cubed. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. One, 2 and 1 add to 3. So uh, on the end here, uh, I'm going to multiply the 2 in. Now notice I'm multiplying just the 2 in, not the negative 2. Okay, if you want to multiply a negative 2 in, you could. Okay, just there's more than one way to do this. So negative 2 times 2, sorry, 2 times 2D would be 4D. Okay, I'm multiplying the 2 in, and 2 times 3 is 6. Um, if you want to multiply the negative 2 in, then you'd end, end up having putting a plus here, and it'd be minus 4D minus 6. It's going to end up being the same thing in the end. Now, that 2 only gets multiplied by one of them, not both. If I multiplied the 2 into this one and also into this one, it would actually have to be 2 squared here. Okay, So it only gets multiplied by one of them, not both of them. Not You don't multiply by 2 twice. So now I need to expand this out. So uh, I'm going to simplify here. I've got a couple d squared terms instead of writing all four terms down. So there's a negative 9d cubed. 36d squared minus 6d squared is 30d squared. 36 minus 6 is 30. And of course, I have this 24d. Now, uh, there's a subtraction sign here. So what that's going to do is when I multiply these together, it's just going to change every sign. So for example, 4d times 2d would be 8d squared. So it's going to be minus 8d squared. And then 4d times 3 would be 12d normally. That's going to change the sign. So it's minus 12d. 6 times 2d would be 12d. Again, that's going to change it to a minus 12d. And in the end, 16, sorry, 16, 6 times 3 is 18, so that's going to change it to a minus 18. And now let's collect some like terms. So we've only got one d cubed term, so we'll write the minus 9d cubed down. 30d squared minus 8d squared would be 22d squared. And then we've got 24d minus these two 12Ds. And so that adds to 0 because 24D, now this is actually, that's 24D, this is actually a negative 24D. So together, this is opposite with that. So there's no D term at all in the final answer, kind of like there is no X term in the first one here. So then in the end, we just have this minus 18. So that is the simplified product of all of this. And the last example, this x, this trinomial squared, means that we have, of course, two of these trinomials multiplied. And of course, if that was a three, then I put a third one here. Or if it was a four, I put four of them here. And uh, we're going to basically multiply every term in one by every term in the other. So x squared times x squared would be x to the fourth. So I've multiplied the x squared here. Now x squared times negative 3x would be minus 3x cubed. And x squared times 2 would be 2x squared. So I multiply the x squared into all of these. Now I'm going to multiply the negative 3x into all of them. So negative 3x times x squared would be minus 3x cubed. Negative 3x times negative 3x would be plus 9x squared. And negative 3x times 2 would be minus 6x. So I've multiplied negative 3x into by all of them. Now I'll multiply the 2 into all three terms. So 2 times x squared would be 2x squared. 2 times negative 3x would be minus 6x. And finally, on the end, 2 times 2 would be a 4. So notice that there are 9 terms here all together because we're multiplying 3 terms by 3 terms. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Um, so now we want to just do the simplify and collect like terms. There's only one x to the fourth term, so let's write that at the beginning. 
And then we've got the uh, x cubed terms, negative 3x cubed, another negative 3x cubed would be negative 6x cubed. And we've got, a, we've got three different x squared terms. Uh, 2x squared and 9x squared would be 11x squared, plus 2 more would be 13, so 13x squared. And the x terms, we've got a negative 6x, another negative 6x, so that's negative 12x. And the only constant is the 4, so plus 4 in the end. And so that is the simplified, expanded and simplified version of this. And that's the end of the tutorial.